Welcome to Quick Soil Mechanics Lessons with Brian. Liquefaction simply explained in 12 acts. I don't know how many acts are going to be. We'll see. Here's act three, more circles and stress pads, specifically in total stress. So if you remember, we've got our axes. Uh, X axis is normal stress, shear stress on the vertical axis. And if we want to have isotropic consolidation, sigma one and sigma three are equal. That means it's a point and tau is zero. So we consolidate that to our initial confining pressure and that's where we will start our shearing. So let's put in our failure envelope, remind ourselves of where sigma one, two and three are. And of course, we consolidated that out to our initial confinement pressure. And in triaxial compression, sigma one, the vertical stress is increased, and sigma two and three are held constant. So this is where we start to grow our circles. So let's look at undrained loading and total stress. So right now, we're not talking about pore pressures. So we just increased sigma one, sigma three is the same. And we'll keep on increasing that until we hit failure. Now we've hit failure. And for a lot of undergrad programs, that's where we stop uh, the understanding of the Moore circle. In reality, there's an infinite number of circles that have gone from the initial consolidation pressure to failure. And we can put a point on top of each one of those circles and voila, it connects in a straight line. That straight line happens to have a slope of one to one. And this is the MIT stress field. And to the uh, horizontal axis, we've added an S. And to the shear stress axis, we've added a T. So it's also the S and T axes. Uh, S and T are defined this way, and those points define the top of the circles. So that line is the stress path in MIT st stress field. Guess what? There's another way to express a stress path, and that is in P and Q, and this is probably the more popular, more common approach. And so this is what it looks like. That's a stress path as a three to one slope rather than one to one. So you can recognize immediately in total stress that these are different approaches. And this is the Cambridge stress field. And this is the stress path in the Cambridge stress field. And this will become a lot more important when we start talking about effective stresses. So right now it's not too exciting, but it's a foundation for what's going to come next. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. And short, simple, and to the point. Uh, next time it'll be a lot more interesting. Till next time, see you around.